Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've had a great week. So today I'm filming my first Halloween makeup tutorial of 2022, which is this look right here. I am so impressed with this and I'm so proud with how this turned out. I use the new Body FX Slayer contacts and these contact lenses are so amazing. I did get inspired by these contacts to do this look, something reptilian and something pink. I think these contacts are so epic. I hope you guys liked all my previous Halloween makeup looks um, and I hope you like everything that I do this year. I am so proud of all my Halloween looks and it's something that helps me grow my channel. Like you guys seem to love my Halloween or my SFX makeup looks on TikTok, on Instagram and here on YouTube. So. I'm really glad I'll always upload them to TikTok first, so my username is just Alicia Jones, so please go and follow me on TikTok, it would mean the world to me. So I got inspired from Meiju Lok, she is an amazing artist, I've been following her for years, and she did this green snake makeup look, and I was like, holy moly, that is so cool. So thanks to her for inspiring me for today's look. So if you want to learn how to get this Halloween makeup look, then just keep on watching. So here is my bare face with no makeup on. Um, the first step I did was slip my hair back with a bit of hairspray and like a teasing comb and I kind of just like brushed it back. I made sure not to wash my hair last night because I knew I was doing this. Um, so this is the Wet n Wild paint palette and I'm going to use this pink shade here. Um, I don't know if they still have this available but just use like a light pink shade and I'm taking a beauty blender and I'm just like swirling it around. It's still got a pink hue in it which will save me some time. And just know, oh, I should really take my earrings out, shouldn't I, guys? When I do most looks, I um, just go with the flow. Like, if you're naturally arty, you don't really need practice. So, yeah, just cover your whole face and neck and chest with this pink color. So, after you cover yourself in paint, as you can see, um, you want to take a light pink shade that's really similar maybe slightly darker. I found a really good one that was close, and it's in the Morphe James Charles palette. Um, this has a lot of shades in it and this color here is what I'm going to use. It's a nice light pink color. I could mix it with a little bit of this bright one but we'll see how we go. The purpose of this is just to like set the paint so when you blend shadows on top it will blend easily and it's not just gonna like stick. Oh fuck. And if that happens you can just use a sponge and then like pull it away. Make sure you don't have any creasing on your eye because this is where like the paint can really crease so just grab your finger and like blend it and then just set that with the eyeshadow. So once you have that down we're starting to do shading. So I'm taking an old brush, this is just the Phoenix Cosmetics brush, there's no like number or anything on it. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Birds of Paradise Forever Flawless palette. You don't have to have this whole palette just for this look but just grab a darker pink shade that's not like hot pink but it's still like a nice decent pink shade. I'm just going to start taking this pink and like blending, like we want to create three tones at least. So I'm going to just bring it down like this and then just kind of sweep it under the eyes like this. And then you want to do the exact same thing to this side, bringing it down by the nose and then up underneath the eyes. Yeah, so literally just blend this. Like I'm not doing everything perfect. Like we'll, the details on top will be the more perfect stuff. Now I'm just going to go like this because we, we want like heaps of like snake patterns on the forehead. So now I'm using the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Liner in Extreme Black. This is like the best liquid liner ever. Um, and I'm going to draw on my eyes like this. Look how black that is. I love this precision tip. Just draw like on your waterline and make it come down a little bit like that. Do the other eye. Okay, so I'm going to do the snake eye like really dramatic. So with the inner corners, you want to like just really drag it down like this and then connect it back up to your waterline. This just gives like the snake vibes. And then you want to kind of do like a winged liner, like you want to go up like this and then connect it. Okay, 
So I'm grabbing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lisa Edwards palette and just this Texas made shade. I don't know, you guys can use just a palette with like lots of pinks in it. Drawing on top of the eyelid with this. Before I do the next wing. I should have done this before doing that um, wing already, but oh well. I'm gonna kind of shape out like a, like a wing a massive wing look like that just keep it it doesn't have to be perfect just who's looking forward to Halloween though I so am um, I love going out and dressing up with my friends and I normally do their makeup like some of my best mates yeah so I'm really looking forward to doing that this year and then I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes um, what are you guys doing for Halloween this year? Please let me know. So what I'm going to do is draw around that with black liquid liner as well. So we've got the pink and then we want to follow it up like that and then just draw, draw around. Okay, so after that you want to line your waterline. So I'm using the Thin Lizzy Duo Iron Brow Pencil. This is my favourite eyeliner ever. You can actually use the code ALICIA20 to get 20% off the Thin Lizzy website, which is awesome. That's like a pretty generous discount code. Um, I was the first New Zealand Thin Lizzy affiliate and this is probably the product that I use most frequently. I don't know what it is. Comes with a sharpener and there's brown and black on one end. I think this is so like handy for normal makeup and creative looks as well. Um, so I'm going to use this and I'm just going to, it's nice and new because I got some new products. So yeah, if you guys want to buy some makeup, then use my code on their website. And we're going to put on some mascara, so I'm just using the Rimmel Kind and Free Mascara. Um, and this one's really good because 99% of ingredients in this come from natural origins. Snakes have like nostrils that go like this on the end of their nose. So I'm just going to do that with the black. She fully covered her eyebrows. I wish I did that because I've got big fucking eyebrows in the way. But I don't know how to like... Oh, I don't know how to stick them down with glue. I can never do that. Okay, just to hide this eyebrow a little bit, like to hide the colors of the brow, I'm just gonna pack some white paint on it. This is just the Kralin Clown White paint. Um, but if you know how to block out your eyebrows, please do that. Don't be like me and attempt a brow block on national TV, because that's what I did for Glow Up. How iconic put some shading everywhere. This will like save me a million years. Um, so I'm gonna put that dark pink from the Forever Flawless palette and just start, I don't know, drawing it around. I'm gonna do some down the cheekbones like this. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be way easier if I do the shading first and then the lines. I'm still contemplating whether I should do white lines over top or pink so now i'm taking the face paint by body fx palette i love the look of this one this one even comes with like some really cute stencils that you can use to do like different shapes um but the colors are like this um and i realize it's got a really nice pink in there too you're just gonna do a whole bunch of random lines now without even thinking you can reference a snake too if you like i'm just looking at the picture from major look she's just awesome
Okay, so after you do the patterns on your face, that took me a little while, that's why I sped it up, but um, I'm gonna do the neck now, so I'm just gonna do like a big line. Do a big line that comes right down the chest. I'm just gonna like go up like this. And then I'm going to draw some big, like, circles. You don't have to do exactly like me, you can literally just do what you think. Okay, so I'm going to do what I did on this side. On this side, it's not going to be fully symmetrical, but I'm just going to do it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That side is done. That took me so long. So now I'm going to grab some pink and I'm going to start, like, putting it in these segments. You want to take, like, a smaller brush and you just want to, like, start blending throughout these little segments. Now it might take a little while. I just want enough to like give the scales a pop and make them look like scales. So I'm literally just putting this anywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna like fully like cover these scales underneath the eye. You'll see in this look like this is where the most time is taken is just like adding dimension. <laughs> this look is all about trust the process because it starts out not looking great and then it keeps getting better. So the key to a really good makeup look is just to keep going even when you're like oh yeah that looks all right. No. Keep going until you are like amazed and it's like eye popping. So I'm gonna do what I did on my face down on my body um, and then I'll be back. I just wanted to show you how I am doing the chest. So like what I'm doing is I am drawing alongside these lines and then I'm just blending it into the middle. It was funny, Matthew tried to come in before. I'm like, no, like hiding because I'm like, I don't want him to see my makeup looks. Like I want him to see it when it's like fully finished. So that's like the first impression. I'm literally getting there with the shading. It has taken me three hours to do this makeup look so far. I'm just taking the black um, from the Elisa Edwards palette and this black shade here. And how cute that it nearly says Alicia. It's like Alyssa. So as you can see here, we're just adding lots of darker shadows now. And this will just make it pop. Okay, so now I've done the face, I'm going to do the rest of the body and I'll be back. As you can see, it is starting to look better. I'm starting to really love this look though. I feel like I've come such a long way with my makeup skills like in the last two years. Like it's insane. Like after COVID, I don't know what it was. Like I feel like I just flourished and I'm like so much more patient. I can like just see things a certain way. I don't know what it is. I'm just more patient and I definitely think that I'm a perfectionist now, more so. With the nose, I'm just going to grab my liquid liner and draw on these bits a little bit better. Just here, against the sides. It's nice because this black liner is new too, so it works so well. Just gonna quickly like put pink through the front of my regrowth, like here, just to like, I don't know, suit the makeup look, I guess. 
Now I need to put on lashes. So these are really like cat eye ones. These are from Wolfie Lashes and they're in the style Lyric and I think they are really amazing. I chop them in like little segments as well because I think that this makes them look more cat eye. So I'm taking my Duo Lash Glue and as you can see I've like cut them up. I'm gonna put on a bit of glue. Okay, so just to add some detail, I'm using the Details Liquid Makeup. Um, it's like in white, it's like this white liquid liner and I'm just dotting like some dots where the scales are. Like in between the scales, I don't know. Also, what I just did off camera while it was charging a bit more was I took this white shadow, just take a really white shadow and put it like in the middle here of like, put it in the middle of all the scales and it's just going to add a highlight and it's going to make it look real and 3D and it just, I don't know, makes it look more realistic. You guys can see what I mean, like as soon as I added all those shadows, um, I did lots off camera, but yeah, just do it in the center of all the, um, do it in the center of all the circles. And the last step to make this look complete, contact lenses always make a makeup look look complete. So I am taking the Primal Costume Contact Lenses and these are in Slayer. Um, so these are brand new off of the Body Effects website, so I'll leave their website down below if you want to go and check it out. But yeah, Body Effects is really good for all kinds of stuff for Halloween. You've got paints, prosthetics, liquid latex, scare blood, fake blood, lots of contact lenses, honestly everything, and it's my favorite New Zealand website to shop from. So yeah, they have released these awesome contact lenses and I think they are so cool. It's so worth it. So I'm gonna put them in and be right back. So here's the difference with the contact lenses. They look so cool. As you can see, they're like fully like a reptile, what the hell? And it's like a straight line down the middle. So there's little holes in the center where your pupil is, so you can kind of see, but with the ring light, it is really hard at the moment. Um, but like usually you can see it will be harder to see like at night time but you can still like see through them and see where you're going and stuff it's just harder to like see details and it's like it's like frosted over like a slight pink hue contacts definitely complete your makeup look i think they are so cool I feel so badass right now. I'm so proud of this look being my first look for Halloween 2022. Every year I feel like I'm going to step it up. So I hope you guys like this look. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday at 3am New Zealand time and I upload YouTube shorts like every day, probably like three times a day. Also, if you do have any Halloween ideas or recommendations or like, you know, looks that you want me to do, then let me know down below in the comments. I always read and reply to all of my comments. So I'd love to see what you guys want me to do next. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next week's video. Bye.